Okay, so I still got people in the comment section that don't believe that you can melt glass in a microwave. So I guess I got to make another video. Okay, so I got my microwave kiln. This is the base. This is the lid. Some kiln paper. You put that in the bottom. I've got some crushed up glass. You're going to take your glass, however much you want to put in there. And then you just pop the lid on. Okay, now I always melt this glass outdoors, but for now, I'm just going to show you how I do it. Just take your kiln, you pop it in the microwave, shut the door, and normally for me, it's about 8 to 10 minutes for what I got going on, and that's it. So I did take it outdoors, and I melted it, and here's what it looks like after about 8 minutes. I always get people in the comments also that say, why doesn't the glass plate melt? You can't melt glass in the microwave if that doesn't melt. Well... It would if it were inside this. You see, that's where the magic happens. It's, it's not going to melt if it's in there just like if you were cooking food. It's going to have to be inside there. Anyway, you can Google microwave kiln. It does exist. After it cools down, you wind up with a cool piece of melted glass. I even have some uranium glass. It glows under a black light. It's pretty cool stuff. And I use all this glass to make things like arrowheads, you know, like this. Arrowhead, I made this one. This one I made from melted marbles. This one here was from a Milk of Magnesia bottle. This one was from a Mad Dog 2020 bottle. That's also a controversial topic. If you don't believe it, just Google it. It's there. You don't have to get in the comment section talking about stuff you don't know anything about. Just Google it.